In the last episode, I designed the Undo architecture for my bitmap data structure. With that functionality, another long planned feature became possible support for high resolution raster drawings. Pixel Art Academy aims to teach drawing and painting in any medium as most knowledge transfers across art forms. To learn sighting, the technique for capturing correct proportions, you will draw a still life on a high resolution canvas. This will come with a new built-in editor that will mimic working at an easel from which you can observe the still life scene. Still life support is already in the game but could benefit from physically based rendering with the pixel engine, eventually bringing us full circle to the topic of this series. Coding the high resolution bitmap won't be too exciting if I don't have the user interface to see the result. When it comes to the graphical user interface for Pixel Art Academy, I try to make it as immersive as possible. For example, to view or edit your account information, you open up a folder that mimics a real-world dossier. Such UI is known as skeuomorphic and it was employed in early graphical user interfaces to transfer users' knowledge and ease the transition from the analog to the digital. In video games, skeuomorphic UI also serves to keep the players immersed in the game. It is called diegetic UI if the real-world items that the UI is representing exist directly in the game world. I will touch on this topic in future episodes as I find immersive UIs a lot of fun and bring me back to how a lot of games approach their UI in the 90s. I decided that to create new high resolution drawings you would open your portfolio and fill out a purchase order form to get yourself a canvas. And I loved searching for vintage references and pixel fonts to fit their style. I carry out all the creative design work ahead of time in GIMP, leaving only the technical parts for implementation with HTML and stylus. I use RAM units, root EMs, to specify the sizes of all my UI elements. I can then use this to get pixel-perfect scaling of all the art and the fonts. Since one RAM equals the font size of the root HTML element, I can set the main font size to 1, 2, or 3 pixels to get the desired magnification. After a lot of tweaking to align pixels as perfectly as possible, the design was finally wired up for interaction. Nothing happens yet when you sign the order, so you'll have to wait for the results until the next devlog. I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs>